Mikey Garcia is one of the greatest boxers fighting today. Known for his incredible knockouts, Garcia's dramatic finishes are made possible through a thorough knowledge of ringcraft and solid technical skill. Garcia does not often use advanced techniques. Instead, he uses basic fundamentals in highly advanced ways, the whole becoming far greater than the sum of the parts. For instance, this isn't complex footwork. This is basic footwork used at an advanced level. It's the intentions behind his movements and the execution that are advanced. He plays with tempo and foot feints to shift the opponent's attention to the inside before pivoting outside to avoid getting cornered. This concept of using basics at an advanced level permeates Garcia's style. For example, Garcia is an impressive finisher, having knocked out 30 of his 39 opponents. But his powerful offense is predicated off of a minimalistic defense. Garcia uses slight, economic blocks and parries, along with modest head movement. Rather than shell up or use multi-purpose blocks, Garcia keeps an active guard that relies mostly on refined reflexes. Ideally, all fighters would try to dispel and redirect their opponent's attacks, rather than take the brunt of the force head on. But in fact, many fighters prefer the simplicity of a static guard, hoping to power through their opponent's offense to close the distance. But watch what happens when Garcia unloads on an opponent with a static guard. Not only is the opponent knocked backwards, losing balance and mobility, but both arms are tied up defending rather than threatening a counter. Another big part of Garcia's defense is his minute adjustment of distance. Using small, balanced steps, Garcia can quickly move in and out. He's able to ride back his opponent's punches, deflecting them at the tail end of their extension. He can then rebound back to counter. These attributes make Garcia adept at closing distance while expending very little energy, instead letting his competitors tire themselves out and leaving them little to show for it. Notice how many fewer punches Garcia throws in his opponent as he cuts off the ring. It's his defense that's doing most of the work. Expanding on this concept, watch how few steps Garcia takes in comparison to his competitor, who fails to escape despite all the extra effort. The subtlety of Garcia's movements can be hard to catch, but luckily, his techniques are exaggerated when he's going for a knockout. It becomes much clearer how Garcia changes angles mid-exchange. He circles to force his opponent to readjust, keeping him off balance and one step behind. Never setting in one place for too long and never moving in a straight line are, once again, fundamental strategies in fighting that Garcia strictly adheres to. It goes without saying that footwork would be nothing without effective punching, and Garcia has an arsenal of tried and true offensive techniques. These include well-developed jabs, uppercuts, and feints. But perhaps the most important advantage of Garcia's economic style is that it allows him to set up his more powerful punches and land terrifying knockouts. Because Garcia does not greatly deviate from his guard and stance, he stays structurally sound and balanced, in position to generate power even whilst in motion. He can quickly respond to openings with well-aligned, balanced, and accurate shots, even while backpedaling. These attributes would make any fighter a force to be reckoned with, but there's one more element to Garcia's game that has helped to put him in contention for number one pound for pound fighter. And that is the ability to adapt and change his tactics with each new opponent. While Garcia keeps a consistent style based on fundamentals throughout each of his fights, he also knows how to use the right tools for the right job, incorporating a few select additions to his usual repertoire. Against Salido, Garcia fought an opponent who liked to wade in and rough up his competitors on the inside and punch them in the dick. So Garcia used Salido's crouch against him by cross-framing to turn away from the ropes, and invited Salido to duck in by throwing jabs in order to drive him into uppercuts. Against Broner, Garcia blocked the small vision slot of his tight high guard and punched around or through the cracks in his defense, varying up his strikes each time. Against Dijon's southpaw stance, Garcia controlled the lead hand battle by timing his jab and circling his own over it. While these tactics gave Garcia an edge, it was his habit to exit and exchange off angle that set up such a terrifying, beautiful KO. Exiting offline not only helps a fighter stay safe, but creates new lines of attack. 
Once again, a basic fundamental executed flawlessly. An old saying comes to mind. I fear not the man who knows a thousand punches, but the man who practices one punch a thousand times. If you'd like to learn more about footwork or generating power, you can check out my books linked below. For The Modern Martial Artist, this has been David Christian, wishing you happy training.